running up jump. Okay, so we're going to look at the, uh, the running gap jump, basically. It's pretty simple, uh, is as it says on the tin, really. Literally, running along, get a nice takeoff. Obviously, don't go too, too far that you're going to miss because you want a good drive off of your toes. Really take off of that, that one foot because that's what's going to give you the real power as you're running. Keep it nice and smooth, take off, drive through your arms to help take you. Obviously, because you're taking off of one foot from a run, usually it'll be like more so of one but really drive your chest your shoulders push hard off of your legs push hard off of your toes really give you that height and that distance and really drive for it and it's just something that you can play about with more um, spot your landing as you're going over really meet it with your feet um, and it's all different judgments you know I mean you could do them start off real low just playing about with it as you land really take out that impact and keep flowing along or you can once you're more comfortable with it you can start going higher and more distance and it's all a case of judgment and and kind of learning what your body's capable of so start slow you know and just build up and progress from there um, but we'll look at a couple of demonstrations now if you if you see when we take off really drive in tuck your tuck in to really kind of fly through the air powerfully if you like and then as you're coming down, you're spotting your landing, meet it with your feet. As I said, if, if it's quite big, you want to roll it out and take that impact out. Um, but if it's not that big and you can carry on running and keep flowing, um, then, then do so, you know. So let's have a look at those now.